Hello, Stevies. Welcome back to the garage again for another video because we rode yesterday, but it snowed today. Love living in Nebraska. Uh, today, I want to talk about something like this here. I've got a top shelf. I used to have this in my saddlebag. I took it out. I don't care for it very much because you can't remove it simply. You can take it out, but you have to have tools and stuff like that. At least a screwdriver. It's kind of a kind of a pain in the butt. And when I went to Daytona, I had to like shove stuff underneath it to get it to fit my saddlebag like my drone fit underneath it and stuff like that but I'm, i don't care for this very much so i i took it out i did get in contact with a company called hard street and they make saddlebag shelves that will pop in and out you don't have to jam stuff underneath them if you want the entire size of the saddlebag you can use it so we're going to install these today we're going to see how we like them i think i'm going to like them more than the top shelf if nothing else uh i can leave the hardware for these in there and just use them when i want and i can put my side saddlebag organizer things that i got cheap on amazon sticker we'll put it here okay in the box This is what we're dealing with here. A two pack, right side and left side. As you can see, it kind of adhesives to the outside of your bag and then it's got a shelf and a backing. And those are supposed to come out. And then you can have the whole length of your saddle bag. All right, let's get to putting them on. Okay, let's open up the package, see what you get. So you get all these pieces. Hard street. There's a lot more to this than I thought there was. I actually kind of thought these were going to be a little bit cheesy, but let's open up the package. I am not kidding you. This smells like a new car. So first thing I pulled out of there was this, and I'm guessing, yeah, this is, this is going to be the right side of the bike, I'm thinking. Here's this, the other side, the left side of the bike. I'm gonna put that right there. So then this one will be the right side. And then this will be the, I'm guessing that this is gonna be this side. I'm gonna clean, move my USB charger out of the way. I'm gonna clean this area up with some rubbing alcohol so that we know everything's gonna stick. I'm almost surprised that it didn't come with any kind of rubbing alcohol, but now warning, this is going to cover up your warning on how much weight you can put in your saddlebags. Don't put more than 20 pounds in 09 and later saddlebags. <laughs> so I'm guessing, yeah, this slides in here like this. Hmm, isn't that nifty? So where's the best way to start? So far, I think this is working. Um, I'm just going to keep peeling this back. That worked really well. Can't get over the new car smell from it. All right, hopefully I got this right. Fix and find out though. I guess that's the correct side. So there it is. See, I got some batteries. I like it. I don't even know if I necessarily installed it right, but I like it. 
get that side done. So on this side, I'm going to try to line this up perfect and start from there and see what happens. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to go or not, but that's the way I'm going to start. On that side, I'm quite a ways off from there and quite a ways lower from there. That is the way I should have done that other side too. Yeah, that lines up way better than that side did. This stuff sticks like crazy though, that is for sure. All right, so maybe this one will go in a little bit better. It's about the same. This one is definitely higher. It lines up here better anyway, I guess. And then the back for this one. Right there. Those don't fit the tightest, but I mean, how tight do they need to fit really? They just need to stop stuff from going off the back. I don't think anything's gonna hit it that hard. Let's see, hat will fit in there. Hat fits. Um, Gloves fit, and a hat. Bag closes easy still. Wonder if this one will close easy too. No. <laughs> no, it does not make the bags close easy. This side. Does very well. So we won't even worry about that side. <laughs> but then if you need the length of your bag, let's see, I'll pull that out. Pull that off. And then you stow these to the side. Now you got your whole bag yet. And then when you do want your shelf. That side in first, yeah, and then this side. Huh. I like it. I wonder how much weight you could put on one. It's a lot. I mean, I can push. I can push down really hard. I mean, it's not going to support my weight, but I can push down pretty hard on it. So this side, as you can see right here with the molding of the bag, right, right here, I lined that up. The other side, I didn't. I left it down a little bit. So real quick here, guys, I was able to fix this one. I just cut away some of this rubber because as you can see, I've got it too far away from this molding right here, right in here, too far away from that. 
We're like this side. I got it. It's right up there. It's molded perfect to line right up there with it. Should have done that on this side, but I didn't. So I just cut away some of this gray right here with that knife. And then now closes right up. Hard street saddlebag shelves. Um, I have not used them yet. So I'll let you know after I use them how good they work. But I like how there's rubber padding. Um, I like how I can put my hat there without it getting squished. I can put gloves there. I can put my keys there. To hold change. GoPro batteries. Pink slip. And I got gray because I just want to be able to find stuff quick. So it's going to be get, start getting warmer pretty soon. We are going to be riding more. We got some stuff coming in the works. Uh, that will be really cool. We've been working on for a really long time. Until then... If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. Until next time, everybody stay cool, and we'll see you on the road. There you go. You're in the new hard street shelf.